Well, I just got a box in from the Netherlands and it contains a Dogon door, carved door that was um, collected between 1950 and 1970 by a uh, person that was over there. For... Sorry about that, we're out on the street. Uh, he was a missionary and uh, he uh, bought a few items while he was there back in the 1950 to 1970 and brought them back. So we're gonna, let's go be the first look at a Dogon door. I bought this for my birthday. 39 years old, just like Jack Benny. Been celebrating my 39th birthday for 34 years. Anyway. This is the door. It's actually, they call it a door, but they used it on the windows. And they also used it uh, at the greenery. That's probably where it's became more famous. Um, but in fact, they use this to tile. Doors were, in fact, these, these carvings are quite artistic. The more, uh, it's more of a status symbol. The uh, finer carvings, uh, they kept them in really good shape. Others, they were simple. They were just let to be wore down. And uh, let's see if we can get a better picture here. It has uh, the upper row there was supposed to be ancestors. And uh, referring to different people in the, the families. The cones here re represent breast, and that's fertility. I am not sure what the centerpiece is here. This is the door lock, and it slow slid over, and. On this, this was a window, and this side here would be on the inside of the house or, or hut, and they would be able to lock it and unlock it. These are supposed to be ancestors of different ones. I am not sure what the story is on this, but this is a very common And I'm going to have to do more research. I am uh, really pleased. In the pictures that I bought it from, it shows up quite a bit lighter. And I think it has to do with the reflection. The door is old. We know it dates before 1970. And it might be quite a bit older than that. Somebody at one time, there's a hole here and a hole here, probably put two eye, eye screws in and hung it up on the wall. These things are not easily displayed. The uh, person, uh, the collector I bought it off of, bought this in 2001 from the daughter of the man who collected this in the uh, mid-1950s, 1960s. And overall, the show was a lot more age than I thought it would. A lot of dust on it. It's probably been sitting on his wall or wherever for many years well it has for 20 years so this dates at before 1970 dogon door anyway turns out i am really pleased uh there's the common lizard very if you look at the side of this very interesting carving 
the person who had this had very high status or what we would consider to be rich. It's not a tourist piece. It was actually uh, used for a while. And uh, from based on some of the other items that I've seen, uh, four other items that this guy brought back, he had extremely good taste. I believe that he was, um, shall we say, a rich person doing missionary work and had a very good high taste or quality of art. Anyway, the Dogon Door from Mali, Africa, dates before 1970. This is Ron Rubel for Rubel's Wanderings. Have a good day.